Hey, how's it going? All right, we are actually um, several days out. Um, I'm, I'm done with the challenge. I'm past day 10, so I did it. To all my haters out there, look at me now. Yeah, yeah, I got it done. For all those out there who said I wouldn't make it past two days, what you got to say now? What? What? I love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even though there were no haters, uh, actually everybody encouraged me and told me that I could probably do this, so... There were no actual haters, but I am done. Uh, I missed a couple days getting videos into Crystal Late, and then I wanted to redo day seven since I'd already done the 10 days. So uh, day 10 is done. I finished the challenge, and um, I feel good about that. Will I become a vegan? No, <laughs> not at all. I do have respect for vegans and vegetarians and their choices. Uh, like I said, I will more than likely, do. no, I'm definitely gonna decrease the amount of meat I eat, even though I've done that steadily over the years anyway. But even more so now. What's interesting is 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 the response I've gotten from people uh, when I told them that I was doing this this challenge. Uh, it's almost like you know Democrats and Republicans. I mean, people are like on opposite sides, and it was interesting. My my friends who eat meat, they were they were upset. They, I mean, they, they acted as if I were betraying them somehow. They, well, what are you doing this for, man? What you trying to prove? What's up, man? Come on. One friend of mine was so mad, um, he wanted to know why I was doing it, and I said, well, my friend Chris is a vegan, and she wants me to challenge myself to see if I can go 10 days without meat, and he's like, well, well, is she going to challenge herself to, to just eat meat for 10 days to make it fair? Is she going to do that? <laughs> I'm serious, and I was like, no, she's not going to do that. She used to eat meat. She knows it's something she doesn't want to do. This is for me to, uh, to take a challenge and see if I want to make a change, so... And then on the flip side, my friends who are vegans and vegetarians, when I told them this, it's like their whole reaction to it, they were almost too happy. Almost as if, you know, I were climbing the evolutionary scale because I wasn't going to be eating meat anymore. Because, you know, some vegetarians and vegans, not all of y'all, but some of you do act as if you're better or you're more highly evolved because you don't eat meat or whatever. And once again, that's your choice. But it's, it's interesting. Uh, one thing Chris and I did talk about, uh, it's just people making better choices and people thinking about what they eat more, which is something I had to do for 10 days. I really, I mean, I, I do it most of the time, but I really had to think about what I ate. And, and people should do that. I mean, people think more about the clothes they put on their body or what kind of weed they're going to smoke. Like, oh, I'm going to get some of that Kush, man. No, 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 no. I'm going to have some orange bomb. I don't know if that's an actual weed, but it sounds like it should be orange bomb. But anyway, I, I just think that uh, whatever your choices are, they should be educated choices. And, you know, you just, we have people that once on one side of the fence and, and people on the other side of the fence and there's no common ground. Not that we really need vegans and, and omnivores to come together, but it just would be nice if I just didn't have to hear so much crap from both sides. That's just my thing. I have to admit, uh, it, 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 was, it was a little easier than I thought, uh, just in the sense that I, I thought that if I started eating a lot of foods with soy, that it would raise my estrogen levels, which it does, and next thing you know, I'd be in the mirror taking any long pictures and tight shirts and stuff like that, but that never happened, thank God. So, um, overall, I'm glad I did it. I may do it again if Kristen wants me to, or maybe I'll just do it on my own because I do want to uh, do it when I have a time, when I have more time to prepare more foods because, like I said, I didn't really get a chance to explore uh, uh, different food options. I just kind of did my regular thing and I was on the go, on the run a lot and didn't get to take advantage of that. But anyway, I'm done. Krista, you owe me a batch of cookies, which I could have used during the challenge because I didn't have any sweets during that time. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, I just want my, my cookies, Krista, and my chocolate chip vegan cookies, but feel free to throw in some steak or some ostrich or rooster or, 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 or whatever. I mean, I can eat meat again and I'm happy. So. If you guys are so inclined, feel free to send chicken wings, macaroni and cheese, uh, uh, cakes, red velvet cake, or whatever, P.O. Box 291582, Los Angeles, California, 90039. I'll be more than willing to accept uh, your, 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 your meat gifts, if, <laughs> if there's any such thing. So once again, that's it. I had a great time. Thank you, Krista, for allowing me to take up your, your, your blog space for for seven days. Uh, thanks for your patience and I will thank you in advance for my cookies and uh, I think my um, maybe my cholesterol level will thank you as well. All right, that's it everybody. Unless I can think of something else to say and add in it, which I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to get this off to Krista because it's getting late. Uh, it's football. Had a great day today. Had my meat products and my liquor. Yes.
Anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.